House to Home, presented by Remax Diamond Realty. Um, the both of you have started a very, very wonderful organization, you and your husbands, um, to do good things in our community. And we have a event coming up um, to do just that. So please tell me all about this zombie run. <laughs> so we have zombie run, uh, run scheduled for um, Saturday, October 15. And um, the Children's Arc is an, a nonprofit organization that we formed. And basically it's to help and assist um, individuals that have medical issues, children um, that have medical issues that need assistance, financial assistance. And I think we first started to help um, one um, child uh, that they their stateside, the other sibling had passed uh, due to a rare form of cancer. So we formed a group where we just um, assisted, did fundraisers, and we raised like $5,000 to help uh, this family. And as a result, we thought, well, we're helping one, we'd like to help others. So this organization was uh, formed to assist families who are in need of medical um, financial assistance to help them with their medical expenses, whether it be on or off island or whether it be uh, to help with their housing uh, during the term of their treatment. So we're still in the early stages. It's been formed, it's nonprofit um, and uh, the zombie run, this first event is basically to help sanctuary. So uh, this first event uh, or second event that we're doing is to help sanctuary uh, and the proceeds will go to them. So Gina can go over other details about the, the zombie run, which I think will be a fun event for children and adults. Okay, now this isn't like the the, part, the race participants themselves dress up like zombies because like it's it's a Halloween uh, trick or treat contest and everything like that. The zombies are actually chasing you. <laughs> and you could you you know the kids could come dressed up. It's going to be at four. It, you know show um you know it's at Teeds and Field and it's we're going to start about four thirty. So you can show up dressed up. The kids can come dressed up. But yeah, we're going to have a really fun event. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, this is going to be our first official um, uh, under the Children's Arc. It's going to be our first ofi official event. And, you know, I just want to thank all the sponsors that have already made donations. Um, of course, Remax Micronesia, um, the New Gen Physical Therapy Group. I also want to thank um, KUAM Care Force. Well, we were, so, we were so impressed with the mission and just what you're trying to do. We, we immediately jumped on board. You know, there's so many people in the community, so many businesses in the community. And by the way, congratulations to NewGen because they just celebrated their anniversary. That's right. That's right. The Giving Tree, Rocky Pet Supply, Mescla, Select Care, uh, GFS, TMG, uh, Alpha Insurance, John and Associates, and Bank of Guam were all contributors. And we're welcoming everybody that hasn't had the opportunity to donate. Um, and, and I just want to say, you know, we get a lot of people who contact us and, and absolutely, we always try to help. This is a focused, organized group. And that is going to be the mission is to help people with medical families, with medical and housing issues. Oh, We're going to try to expand this a little bit because there's a lot that we can do as an organized group to help people with, with even housing issues. Cause that's part of what's dear to our heart, mm -hmm. right? Home is where the heart is. And our group is going to, you know, so that's why we decided to start this. You know, we really believe that as you succeed, you reach out around you and you try to pull up where you can and help where you can. And so we're encouraging all the realtors that hear about this, that have not had a help, an opportunity to pitch in, show up Saturday or contact me and Liz and we'll take your contribution. Anything we could do to help our community is welcome. Now, can you tell tell me, ladies, about the name of the organization? Because when you say the Children's Ark, I mean, I just I think the name is so creative because, you know, you get the Ark and you say giving a kid like a little bit of motivation, a little bit of self-confidence, a little bit of encouragement. And that is going to really result in an Ark, um, you know, in the in their life. It sets them off on the path for success. I was also going to say, like, with, you know, with the word Ark, if, if you plan on making this to rain for 40 days and 40 nights, I think we already got a head start on that today because it's it's raining pretty heavy. So. Well, can can yeah. I just 
Well, we, we, we first of all, we wanted to just say our REMAX, our global REMAX group in the States, they have a foundation. It's a miracle uh, foundation for children. And children's we, network. yeah, Children's Miracle Network. And we wanted to tap into that. However, it, the organization was not going to help people here on Guam. So we figured rather than tap into the global network, we had to do something on a local level. So this is to help our local community. Um, and, and in order to do so, we had to form our own organization to make that happen. So um, the REMAX system helps children who need medical assistance, again, but it does not help us on a local level. So this is a mechanism to make that happen. Go ahead, Gina. Well, uh so, you know, so why the children's ark, right? Where did we come up with that? If you think about the symbol of the ark and Noah's ark in particular, it's it's some it's a symbol of hope. It's a symbol that God never gives up on you, right? He never gave up on us as in spite of what was going on in the world and what was happening. God inspired Noah to build the ark to save humanity. And so this is kind of like our our vision of don't ever give up hope. There's always somebody out there that can, you know, we can reach across and pull you up and we can give you a mechanism, at least try to give you hope and, and try to help you out in whatever you're going through. And so that's where the name came from. And what is more important, right, than, you know, we always talk about humanity, but it starts with our kids. We need to give them the hope. We need to empower the children because they're, they are the next generation. Some of us may have already given up hope with what's going on currently in our society, but the children, they're the ones that are gonna bring in the future. And so how could it not be the children's art? Exactly. And so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls out there, if you happen to see Liz and Liz and Gina, these two little short ladies who have like boundless amounts of energy. And if, if they happen to be building building a big boat, that looks really, really cool. And they're, they're gathering two of every types of animal. You know, there's really cool stuff happening right here on our island and they are spearheading that. So ladies, thank you for, for doing this and to your husbands, because I know this is, this is really a labor of love and it's a tremendous thing that you're doing for our island family. Thank you, Jason. Well, Saturday. Yes, so yeah, Saturday. Come okay, out, come let's out talk, in your let's talk registration. Outfit. Come out in your zombie outfit. <laughs> there you go. Okay, d d yeah, you you can dress as, as, uh, as the undead. That's totally cool. <laughs> Okay, That's so what, uh, real quick, what's what's registration list? Well, we we're, we'll start taking registration at four thirty. Okay. But if you want to register in advance, you could go to Mescla. You could come here to the any of the Remax offices have registration forms. Um, we've got a list on our flyer, which we're happy to share with you, Jace, and then that yep. way you know we can get it out there. But please stop by our office. We'll register you and collect your donation. All right. Well done, lady. So thank you very much. And everybody go and register and we'll see you on Saturday. All right. Have a good day, everybody.